video. This is the start of the video series on my first DIY speaker build. I've actually done some of these maybe 20, 25 years ago. I built some speakers using some Radio Shack 15 inch guitar speakers and some horn tweeters with a crossover built into them. And I did some, put some new drivers in some wall speakers that were built into the house that I own. That was back in the 1950s, late early 60s. That was a thing they did. Some of these houses around here where I live. And I put fresh drivers in it and wired it up with new crossovers. So I've done a little bit of speaker work, car audio stuff too. But this is my first like, I wouldn't say from scratch. This is more of a kit built thing. And so I want to show you all before I like got all this unpackaged, what unboxing this looked like. So I've already opened the box, but this was a super well packed shipment that they sent me. It's one of the best I've ever seen. It was like entombed in these little foam wrap around things with foam all outside of these. The box was like three times the size of the thing in the middle. So don't have to worry about it getting damaged, especially UPS around here seems to like to kick the boxes around and they get all dented up. So you don't have to worry about this being damaged. So, and it looks like they've got this thing just extremely wrapped up. So let's unwrap this thing and see what's in here. I believe this is what, what he calls a flat pack, which is all of the wood that's needed to assemble this speaker kit. And I'm going to edit some of this out because, wow, did they put the wrapping around it. So I edited out some of that. Now we're going to start going in this direction. They did not skimp on the packing materials, that's for sure. And we're still unwrapping. Let me get all this off and then we can show you what's in here. It's literally taken like five minutes to get all the wrapping off this thing, but better safe than sorry, I guess. And here's some little, it's like some masonite pieces. And here's a couple of dowel rods. And here's, I guess that's probably the rear for the port. Here's the front for the, that the speakers fit into. And obviously they mail this in two packages. This, this flat pack came first and I'm assuming that the speakers should be coming shortly. And you can see these are all milled out and ready to go. This would be probably a little difficult to do on your own. I do have a router table. So in the future, if I try some from scratch speakers, I should be able to duplicate this out of solid wood. This is um, MDF, sawdust and glue, but really dense, heavy material that I've heard works really well for speaker cabinets. And I'm gonna assume these are probably the top and the bottom. Another rear report and really nice radius corner here that feeds into the speaker and this is where the tweeter is going to go. Looks like probably dowel hole goes there, maybe for reinforcement. So, and it doesn't come with any instructions, which maybe come with the speakers themselves. But I'm going to assume that that like these dowels kind of go like this to support the middle. And then there's the front.
That's the back. There's the bottom. Yeah. See if I can stand this up. Like that. And then and there's the top. So this makes for a, a really compact little speaker and nice thick material with the this is the brace on the inside uh, see if i can tilt that up where you can see where it's got the dowel going through the middle for the brace and obviously when i get this done if i want to i could round these corners off or i could leave it square and sharp like that depending on how i want the outside to look i'm probably going to just um like sand these down, uh, prime them, and then use that same textured black paint that I used on my preamp, photo preamp, that looked kind of like powder coating. I think that'll probably look really nice on these. So anyway, I just wanted to do a little short intro on the speaker enclosures and like I said, I assume that the instructions are probably included with the speakers. And going to read up on this. I'm not sure if we just use wood glue to put these together or if they suggest using some, you know, small brads or something like that to help hold them together. But I'm pretty sure some really good waterproof wood glue would work great for something like this. So, anyway. As soon as the other parts come, we'll start doing the videos of unpacking them and start looking at what it's going to take to put these little speaker kits together. I did go ahead and spend the extra, I think it was $8 for the upgraded coupling caps. And it'll be really interesting to see what these sound like compared to my little clip speakers. I'm actually going to go get one of those and bring it over here and set it next to here to kind of get an idea of the size of the two. So. Here's my little uh, clips icon. It's a, see so here's a KB15. And this is what I'm gonna try to kind of compare these two. As you can see, this has got a little bit smaller cabinet. And so I'm not sure how that's gonna impact the sound. It's not like these have a ton of bass anyway. And so it would be nice if these slightly smaller ones, they're just about the same depth. These might have be a little deeper, but they're pretty close. The main difference seems to be kind of in the height. The width, the widths look very similar. Actually, these might be just a touch wider. And again, when the drivers get here, I can compare those. So anyway, I think this is going to be a fun DIY project. I think the, this kit was about the same price as this pre-assembled clip speaker that I got. It might, this might have been on sale. I think I paid about 100 and 50 maybe 175 dollars for a pair of these so real close in price point but the hope is that these kits sound a lot better we'll just have to wait and see anyway hope you're enjoying the series if you are please sub to my channel like the video so you get updates and i'll see you real soon for more diy speaker fun have a great day